Okay. So this student investigates the principle of moments. He connects a ruler to a stand with a pivot. He hangs a two Newton weight from the 60 centimeter mark and he uses a force meter to hold the ruler horizontal. The scale on the force meter reads from zero to 10 Newtons. How could the student check the ruler's horizontal? Two ways you could do it. You could measure this height and measure this height and check that they are the same. Or you can use a spirit level, which is um, one of those little devices which has a um, bubble, a little bubble in it, which you, which you can use. If you turn it, the bubble moves. So you can use um, measure, measure the height above the bench at each end of the ruler and check they are the same. That's one method. Or you can use a um, spirit level. The bubble should be in the center. State the equation link to, okay. State the equation linking moment, force, and distance from the pivot. Well, okay, so moment is equal to the force times the perpendicular distance from force to pivot. So it has to be a perpendicular distance. Here is the distance. The force is this way, so um, the the distance is perpendicular to the force there. Calculate the moment of the two Newton weight. So this is two Newtons, and they tell you that it's 60 centimetres. So this here is 60 centimetres. Okay, so force is... Um, two and the perpendicular distance is 60. Now that's going to be 120. Newton is the unit of this and this is centimetres, so Newton centimetres. That's okay. Or you could do 2 times 0 0.6 metres to give you 1.2 Newton metres. Either of those is okay. So the student holds the ruler horizontal with the force meter at the 10 centimeter mark. He expects the reading on the force meter to be 12 newtons. The actual reading is 10 newtons. Explain why the correctly reading should be larger, should be larger than 12 newtons. Okay, so let's have a look again what's going on. So why he expects it to be 12, but it's actually 10. Um, so why is there a difference? Well, the one thing we haven't included is the weight of the ruler itself. The ruler also has a weight that we have not included. That's, that's the, the problem, isn't it? Explain why the reading should be larger than 12 newtons. Um, the um, ruler has weight which acts at the center of mass of the ruler and that will also cause the ruler to turn clockwise The ruler to turn clockwise. Um, okay, so now it says 
explain why um, the actual reading is only 10 newtons. So why might this give you the wrong reading? Well, the one thing we have to look at is that the scale on the force meter reads from 0 to 10 newtons. So it cannot read more than 10 newtons. So he's chosen the wrong, the student has chosen the wrong type of newton meter. So that's quite a trick question, really. The actual reading is only 10 newtons because the maximum reading on the force meter is only 10 newtons. So a picture in the student textbook shows two fishermen using a pole to carry some fish. Fisherman A and Fisherman B feel different forces on their shoulders. Use the ideas about moments to explain why Fisherman A feels a larger force. OK, so we've got to put the forces on this. There's going to be the weight of the fish. And then there's going to be the force on this shoulder and the force on this shoulder. And they're saying that this force A is bigger than this force B. So why? Well, a way to look at this is to actually look at the distances that are on here. We'll call that one the distance x a, and we'll call this the distance x b. Now, from the center, that force b, and that causes the thing to turn that way. This force a causes the thing to turn this way. But that distance is bigger. So if this distance is bigger, then the force can be smaller. So this force is smaller than this force. So use ideas about moments to explain why Fisherman A feels a larger force. If you consider moments about the fish, And like we said before, if, if clockwise must equal anti-clockwise, um, clockwise moment, clockwise, the one that turns it clockwise of FA must equal the anti-clockwise moment of FB. Distance to FB is smaller than the distance to FA. So FB, oh, distance to FB is bigger than distance to FA. So FB must be smaller than F A. OK, I think that's the best way to do it. You consider the moments about this point. This force will turn it that way. This force will turn it that way about the fish. OK.